Good morning and happy Friday. Welcome to Northfield Elementary School Library. Yes, I am already at work. My name is Regina Sloan and welcome to day 13 of 21 days of breakthrough prayer with the Pentecostals of Murfreesboro and LifeBridge Church. I'm so glad that you could join me today as we walk through this devotional. Each day, somebody new will walk you through a day of the devotional. I encourage you to go back and catch up on the previous days if you've not already. They have been amazing. Our devotion today is called Prayer Can Do Anything, or as R.A. Tory stated in the book, prayer can do anything that God can do. There's nothing that my God can't do. What a powerful and a true statement. There's an old song that we've even sung at Teapom many years ago when Bishop um, directed the choir that says, I know what prayer can do. But my question this morning is to you and to myself, if I know how powerful prayer is and what prayer can do, why is it that it's so often the very last weapon in our arsenal that we use? Ephesians 3, 20 and 21 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all the ages, world without end. Everything that we do should be rooted and grounded in prayer. Without prayer, we have no power. Jesus Christ never taught his disciples to preach or teach. He doesn't teach us to witness or worship, but there are many, many verses in the Bible on how to pray. In Matthew 6, we find the Lord's Prayer that teaches us how to pray. Prayer is the foundation of everything else that we are called to do. When we fully concentrate or consecrate and concentrate ourselves to prayer, what will he do? What are you seeking him for? What are your desires? Notice in Ephesians again, when, when, when does exceeding and abundantly happen? When does that come? Only after we ask. When does anointing come? Only after we ask. When does healing come? Only after we ask. When does revival come? T-Palm. Only after we ask. After we seek his face, after we consecrate ourselves and ask. All 21 days of this devotion is teaching us how to pray, how to learn to wait on him, spending time with him. It's teaching us to to seek, to knock, to ask. When we learn to pray, it changes us, our understanding in turn, and it also changes our situation. Ask, seek, and knock. Today, I encourage you to do just that. If there's a situation that's going on in your life, ask, seek, and knock, and then listen. Listen, because prayer can do anything God can do. And I don't know about you, but I know that my God can do anything except fail. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we love you today, and we thank you for your goodness. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. Lord, I thank you for the avenue of prayer that we have, God, for the time that we can come together and to be with you. Lord, I pray today that you would just give us an understanding of how powerful that prayer is. And God, if we can just make a path to you each and every day, God, that you can do anything that we need. God, you can be with us. Lord, I pray that you would go with us today. Lord, I pray that you would guide our footsteps. Let this be a great day, God, not just a good day, but a great day in you. I love you and I thank you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for day 13, and prayer can do anything. Take some time today to read the devotional for yourself if you haven't already. Join us live again tomorrow at 7 a.m. for day 14 as we discuss, You Can Do Nothing. Have a blessed day.